Welcome everyone. My name is Dragana and I'm a clinical pharmacist and probiotic expert. I will be taking you through some informational videos on the topic of probiotics. These videos are made in collaboration with the Canadian Digestive Health Foundation. And we'll start with the question, what are probiotics and what do we need to know about them? So when we talk about probiotics, many things come to mind. You might have seen them described as live cultures or beneficial bacteria. Uh, my, some might say fermented foods are probiotics or active microbial cultures or just calling them good bugs. Naturally, this doesn't exactly get to the point of what probiotics are and why we might need them. So let's get into it. What are probiotics? Let's try for next few minutes to answer the question as to why would somebody need them? The official definition of probiotics is listed here. They are live microorganisms that when administered or taken in adequate amounts would provide a health benefit for the host, for ourselves. In the simplest terms, probiotics are good bugs, and they are meant to help the person taking them for as long as the person is taking them. These friendly microbes help us digest food, maintain health, and help us fight disease. It is also important to note that if you are a generally healthy person, you are physically active, you eat well, and you are not under lots of stress, you likely do not need to take probiotic supplement. Probiotics have only been identified as a treatment for specific conditions and for symptom relief. It's important that you talk with your doctor, your pharmacist or dietitian first before taking a probiotic. You have to ensure that you have a proper diagnosis first or know why you are taking it. Together, with your healthcare professional, you can select an appropriate probiotic that is the most suitable for you. This would also ensure you're getting the expected benefit and not only wasting your time and money. So let's start with children. In the newborns, appropriate probiotics can relieve colic, they can minimize spitting after feeding, and as a child is growing, probiotics can be used to prevent or treat diarrhea, constipation, and stomach aches. They also minimize the risk of getting colds or flu, even can reduce symptoms of childhood eczema. There is also evidence for use in more serious gut conditions, and it is best to talk with your doctor about it. And lastly, let's talk about adults. Research has shown that probiotics can be useful for many gastrointestinal issues and beyond. If you're suffering constipation or diarrhea or have been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome, probiotics can be of a great help. In more serious issues such as antibiotic associate and C. difficile or Clostridium difficile diarrhea, probiotics have been found to be very helpful. With use of probiotics, you can even prevent traveler's diarrhea or in a cold and flu season, they can help prevent getting sick. 